Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Figuratively Speaking. Tonight, I'm going to do a fun review of a villain by the name of Steve. I'll do the unboxing, give a brief history, and my review of the Master Bruce. Thank you. Stinkle, a fictional character, a villain from Masters of the Universe, labeled the evil master of odors. Stinkler is essentially a humanoid skunk whose superpower is the ability to release toxic odors from his body that renders his foes immobile. Going into a brief character history. Okay. Stinker was forced, first introduced in 1985 as an action figure for Human and Masters of the Universe toy line, and came packaged with a mini comic titled The Stench of Evil. The Stinker action figure had a semi foul scent that follows uh, a toy. I didn't find the smell of it to be all that bad, um, but a lot of people did. The stinker action figure had a foul scent giving it the distinction of being one of the few toys whose action, whose action feature is an odor. The heroic counterpart was Mossman, being one of the few others. The Stinkor action figure was created by Mattel by reusing the mold of another villain in the Masters of the Universe line, which was Merman. The only differences between Merman and Stinkor action figures are that Stinkor is painted black and white has different chest armor and recycled from the mechanic feature the shield. Recycled from the set of weapons that came with Castle Grayskull rather than a sword, rather than a sword, and is chemically treated to smell musty. According to the toy biography, Stinkor is from a uh, race of skunk humanoids called Cuisines, and his real name is Opadias. His gender is male, hair color, black and white stripes. His relationships, mermaid, affiliations, evil warriors, abilities, emits dehabilitating odors, His voice actors have been Brian Drummond and Jason Mewes. In 2002, the 2000X cartoon TV series, Stinkler's origin is finally revealed. For the first time, the character appears on television. Stinkler was a common thief named Ophidius, and it resembled a large house cat. A chemical accident mutated Ophidius into Stinkor and gave him his horrible stench. Stinkor himself is not immune, is not immune to his own stench and must wear an oxygen mask to breathe properly. Stinkor eventually incorporates into his breathing apparatus a way to control his stench and to focus blasts and eagerly teams up with Skeletor against Human and the other masters. Although Stinkor failed in his initial attack on Human, Skeletor 
was significantly impressed by his usefulness to not only recruit him, but also treat him kindly to keep him at his side. And exempting him from menial tasks such as house cleaning and the harsh punishments awarded to his other henchmen, such as Beast. In the show's second season, the episode Out of the Past reveals further background in the Skateboard's character. In his flashback sequence, we see Opadias as a young boy, and it is revealed. He is from a race of creatures called Pazines, who populate a small village named Pazines. Ophidias had desired to be a criminal ever since he, his childhood. I'll get back to that later. As a child, he betrayed his people by telling the invading world of Provis, where the Pazines kept their weapons. Unfortunately, for both of them, the sorceress happened to be in the town caring for an injured soldier. So, again, uh, coming to what they said about all he dreamed about was being an evil warrior. Uh, being destructive. That's all he wanted to be. And same can be said about some people and whatever. Uh, it's not always about your whereabouts. It's uh, about your mental and your heart, where your heart's at. Portrayals. In 2002 series, Opadias Stinkor is voiced by Brian Drummond. In the Masters of the Universe Revelation, Stinkor is voiced by Jason Mewes. In the 1985 Stinkor action figure that came from female Masters of the Universe toy line, the toy's bio was as follows. Real name Opadias. Originally a Lazine thief named Opadias. Stinko was banished from his village after helping a great warlord, a great warlord named Havas to destroy their defenses and weapons. Wandering throughout Eternia, curiously led him to Triclops. Land and deep within Snake Mountain. There, he caused an accident that infused his body with a horrid stench so powerful it drives away even Skeletor's evil warriors. After demonstrating how his stench power could be used as a weapon of warfare, Ophidias was recruited back to Snake Mountain and armed with the powerful vest, gas mask created by Triclops. To funnel his stench directly at his foes. Armed for combat and calling himself Stinko of the Dias, has the ability to stink and destroy with his odor of evil. In December of 2005, NECA released a mini statue of Stinko, along with Rizlor and Plant Champ, designed by the Four Horsemen Studio. but was not released until 2007 Series 6 with Jitsi. Stinkor was presented to Lou Schreimer and other staff members at Filmation for inclusion in the original She-Ra Princess of Power cartoon series. As a member of the evil horde, but his questionable superpower kept him from ever making an appearance on television. According to Filmation staff, 
when the description of Stinkor was read out at the meeting of the story editors, all of them burst out laughing at the idea of a character who was a walking fart joke and vowed to never use Stinkor in any episode or script. However, the series Bible for Shrimer sequel series, Hero, Son of he and the Masters of the Universe mentions a character by the name of Odar, whose power was an accidental chemical to make Stinkor. Unfortunately, the character was never the character nor the series was ever made at that point in time. So it's kind of funny, and the name and how it be, uh, how Stinkor became Stinkor, and there's some really good stuff in this uh, if you go to uh, Wiki Fandom. We'll read up more on it. Uh, read up more on it. Please. Anyway, getting into the figure. Master Verse Stinkle. Again, very nicely detailed art by Mattel, as always. And the name and that beautiful artwork on the back. Amazing work, Mattel. Stinkler, evil master of odors. What's that smell? If it's overpowering enough to overwhelm a steaming pile of garbage, that can only mean one thing Stinkle. Ever the outcast, the rancid wretch disappeared from Skeletor's side, only to be found hoarding ancient artifacts in his putrid pig pen of a hideout, emitting odors foul enough to bring any hero to their knees. Never underestimate the savage stench of Stinkle. I can already tell you, I absolutely love this figure. I love the color workings. The paint apps that Mattel did on this is absolutely amazing. In package, he comes with two heads, two sets of hands, two that I will not bring out, and this really cool blue shield. And I love these feet. These feet are fantastic. I will start with the first head sculpt. This head sculpt. I love how they did this head sculpt. You can really see how they will use Marvel. The original head sculpt, the body sculpt, all of it. I really do like how they portray the eyes. And the blue mask on his face. He's got a basic blue shield. Um, not really anything to speak on about it it really resembles a lot of the shields from masters of the universe um it's not anything special really uh, it's got a slight very very minimal glitter gloss over the top of it my camera definitely is not pick up might be able to get closer to it, but it's not 
And of course, as always, how they make the bigger holder. On to get the film. Let me first say what I really like about this figure is I love these tanks on the back. Very, very cool. And of course, I do love this head, which let it pop off so I can get that. I love the blue around the eyes, the white, the satin mask, the pink is on the and again, the ears. Very nice. And of course, the figure is on the other one. So what I really like about this character, you've got the blend of the black and white. Definitely makes him skunk like as he's supposed to portray. He does not come up as a background, which I wish he did. Um, I mean, even if it was just as much as a spear, that would just you know, make the character more He has got the full 30 point articulation, the wrists, at the bicep. He's got a very nice wingspan. He's got that brother pivot at the elbow, and of course at the shoulder, which is very nice. You can remove the chest armor, which is pretty cool because he's got this chest pivot like all the others. So you can get it with add crunch on it. There you go. I love this buck. Did Again, what I really love about that, 
master groups figures because I really love the way they do these honors and figures and films, but I really love the fashion is one crowd the way they have instead of just being a hard plastic you get that softer plastic and the wash that they put on things. So this wash is brown but it's got that black in there to make it look like it's dirty. Got a very nice twisting on the body, so twisting. And again, you got the full rotation of the thighs, full rotation of the calf, double joint on the leg, at the knee, that's a little stiff, and I have to keep that up. There we go. There we go. Got a real nice wide spread so we can do that split. And of course, that foot rotation that we get the up, down. It's just still a little stiff on now. I'll work with that a little bit. But it's got that up, down. And of course, it's got that you just broke it right. Pretty cool. Very easy to pose. I cannot say that I don't like this figure. I think if my only disappointment about this figure is that he does not have the controlling smell, but that's easily fixable. You get fully oil and you can put it probably in any of the joints. Um, I know on Origins, if you take the arms out of the sockets, you put a couple drops of petroleum in those arm sockets, put the arms back in, you get some smell of it, and make it almost vintage. But this is my Stinkler review. You're definitely going to give this figure an 18 out of 10, as I always go over the board, and I say 10, but I always go over it. I love the Masterverse, uh, things that they do, and at the end of the day, I should go maybe 0 to 30 on my rating. I definitely give them what I gave them, only due to the fact that it doesn't have the smell, but... It is what it is. Very cool figure. Very good work to tell. Thank you very much for adding this to my collection. And that is another edition of Figuratively Speaking. If you happen to like the content that you see here on Figuratively Speaking, please hit that like button. Please subscribe any of the time. And, and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.